Tsunami Studios. Batman the Detective, issue number two. Tom Taylor, Adam Kubert, two of the best guys working in the industry today. They're doing a Batman miniseries, and my goodness, you know, the first issue, just really good. It was strong, it was interesting, a little different, not particularly my taste. But this issue just made me go, this is a really chaotic, over-the-top, outlandish book that knew exactly what it was trying to be. Just showing a completely weird and unhinged Batman who's so dark and brooding, and the world around him is just like, dude, relax, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know why, this, this portrayal of Bruce is just so perfect, and just so a certain style of the Batman character that I know some people are going to be like, oh, this isn't my Batman. But I'm like, there's so much chaotic energy going on in this book, just the way Bruce is just so unhinged at times. I'm like, yeah, let's follow this story, man. So we open up, and Batman is hanging a guy off the side of the big old clock tower. And the guy's like, I don't know, man, I don't have any of the answers you're looking for, man. I can't help you, man. I just work for this girl, man. Like, I don't know anything, man. Drops him, saves him right before he falls, and Squire's like, Dude, you're just letting him get away? <laughs> what is wrong with you? And Bruce doesn't even elaborate. He's just like, yeah, I, I, he's had a tracker on him. Let's just go. Uh, let's just go back and talk to Knight. And as they head back to go see Knight, basically, you know, it's just kind of like an interrogation where Batman's kind of asking her, like, how did you get connected to Knight? Like, why are you a part of this? And it's like brought up in foster care, all those issues. Kind of, you know, when we get back to this stuff with Knight, it's kind of just like, yeah, it's emulating what you did with your sons, how you raise them from this place of hurt and bringing them back to this area where they can thrive and be strong young men. You know, Burrell's doing that with this girl. And you're like, yeah, Bruce, you don't, you really shouldn't chase it. But like, what are you expecting here? She's literally following in your footsteps when it comes to helping these people. And as they're just waiting for some information, I just love that Bruce is just sitting in his stupid costume while everyone else just has their masks off and just having fun. He's just like got his arms crossed, his big goofy leather jacket and his belt and his big boots. Man, the boots are the best part. Like you see them in this panel, I'll throw it up on screen. The boots are just so bulky and up to his knee. I love it. It's ridiculous. This Batman's just so weird. I love it. So yeah, Knight and Squire is just Batman and Robin, but over in Europe. You get it. You know, Bruce is talking about like how he knew this like underground bunker from an old ally he had, and we get indications of who that's going to be. They brought him there to save his life. And basically, we're going to like go on a trip to figure out who this person is. Who is this um mysterious person that was hired, or like hired Matthew, I should say, to come and attack like uh, you know, all these people. You're like, okay weird stuff so we get this scene where uh, this woman in a white batman suit and followed by other people in batman suits is talking to matthew they're like dude batman just let you go there's no way he did that so they strip him she wears like some x-ray goggles sees that there's like a a tracker in the shape of a bat signal implanted right where his heart would be around and basically they're like no loose ends you shouldn't exist batman saved your life i'm gonna kill you now so the woman <laughs> with a gun just kills him wearing a white batman suit it's great <laughs> it's just great it's just what is happening in this book it's so fast-paced but a really good kind of fast-paced you know i really like the artwork it's just stunning just to see adam kubert style just presented like this just this like unhinged bruce wayne i love it so we're going on a train we are going to head to france bruce is in like this just random area of the train he's got a glass of wine with the bottle there He's looking a lot like the Punisher mixed with Billy Butcher in this. I'm like, that's perfect. Look at this lunatic just sitting there. He hears like a knock on the side of the his train door. He opens it up. There's no one there. But he climbs to the roof and he finds who's there waiting for him on the other side of the train. It's Ducard, his old mentor. And basically it's like, bro, why, why did you come to this part of the country and you didn't even bother to look me up? What are you thinking, Bruce? Come on, I, I trained everything you know. And, and basically, we get, like, the indication that Ducard knows that the other person that is going against Bruce is another person he trained. He doesn't explicitly say their name or who she is, but it's like, you two are some of the best I've ever trained and, and all this stuff. And you're like, what is happening? What is going on in this book? We just meet, like, Ducard. He trained somebody previously. She's in a white Batman suit going after Bruce for some reason weird stuff man it's just it's just the flow of this book is so weird 
So the game is afoot, you know, this John Constantine detective type just takes his drink, he walks off the train, and we're leaving it to go figure out what's going on. So Batman finds the dead body of Matthew, he's like, okay. <laughs> Actually, I like, I, I like, for some reason, this is just like a weird piece of dialogue. So earlier in the scene, we saw that Bruce was thinking in his, like, in his monologue, just like, okay, Matthew's tracker stunt movement, so he's either sleeping or, you know, he's resting or something like this. And then when Bruce finds a dead body, he's like, okay, so he isn't sleeping. Yeah, we know. Why did you have to say that? It's weird. I, I love it. It's just bizarre. So we cut back to Descartes for some reason. He's just sitting on a balcony smoking a big cigar. The silhouette of a Batman is there. And at first you're like, oh, it's Bruce. But no, there's the white outline. It's this other Batman. And basically it's like Batman saved his life once. So there can't be any loose ends. It's about equilibrium. And she's coming in to kill him. But that's not going to do anything. So he evades and he, he fights his way through them. The forces are coming to get him. Bruce is just swinging off the top of a tall building to come save him. And I'm like, what the hell? What What is going on here? Why is it taking Bruce so long to swing down to save him? Ducard gets shot by the gun. He's falling off the bridge. And of course, Bruce is coming down to save him because that's what Batman does. He always tries to save the person. Is Ducard dead? Maybe. Henri Ducard. Have we seen him in other books before? I actually don't know. But I'm just like, what? The, what? What is this? Why is Why does this work so well? It's just so loose in the way it flows, you know? Bruce is just like, I'm hanging a guy off the side of the building. Okay, I'm going to go talk to Knight and Squire. Okay, it looks like I'm on a train going to France. Okay, this guy's clearly dead. Looks like I'm going to meet with my old pal Ducard here. And oh, I couldn't save him. It's just so loose flowing. This Bruce is just so edgy and intense and scrappy. And it's just, it's a bizarrely good book. It's so weird in its betrayal, but I don't hate it. I don't hate anything about it. I don't love it. But it's far from the worst thing ever. Like, what is going on here? I don't know, but it's cool. The stupid Batman costume with, like, the leather jacket. I'm like, that is just the dumbest thing ever. The knee-high boots are the best, though. Like, this is just the bizarrest Batman book on store shelves right now, honestly. We have a million and twelve Batman books, and this one is just so weird. But it's fun. And it's different. And this Bruce Wayne is going to surprise you, and this is, like, anger. It's really weird, but it's not bad. Fun book. Ducard's dead, probably. So, Batman the Detective, issue number two. I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. Now, thank you guys for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.